Hey guys, hope that you're having a fantastic day. So we are currently doing a tarot and angel card reading for March 25th, 2022. Right away feeling some energy coming up off of my chest. If you've been watching the last couple days, we've been getting very similar energy in relation to needing to express what we have going on. If we don't tell people, people won't know. So our theme... We have two theme cards, okay? First thing is stress. And thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to this channel. Really appreciate it. Please make sure that you click the bell button so if I'm doing lives, you can catch me there. If you like the video, like the video. Click the thumbs up, please. So we have stress and gossip. All right, so right away I'm feeling like people are working on feeling lighter. So the only way we can feel lighter is by opening up the door to like getting fresh air, um, being around nice, positive people, um, being kinder to ourselves, things like that. So making sure that you're not around toxic energy, because if you are, how is that going to affect you, right? And so it's time to clean up any self-care issues. And then the Nine of Swords is teaching us about healing and the healing arts. Maybe you want to learn about Reiki. Um, maybe you need an energy healing session. You can book in with me. You can also join my membership group and learn Reiki through that way. Uh, I'm doing a um, new moon live through my Facebook as well. So um, that will be really helpful for a lot of people starting off on April 1st. We have a new moon in Aries. Angel of Success, so this is more where we're going to go a little bit deeper. It's talking about opening up all of your chakras, learning how to balance your chakras. Chakras are going to be super, super, super helpful. So again, through the membership, if you choose the pro level, you can still learn about the chakras at that level as well. That's an option. And I'm also getting to really tune into the form of any type of arts. But I keep hearing the form. So I'm getting more entertainment, more events, really working on attending, tending to the things that light you up and excite you. So I also have underneath April 2nd, aside from the new moon ritual, on the 1st, on the 2nd, I have a retreat from 2 until 5. So maybe you want to join us for that if you are local. And I'm here in Riverview, okay, New Brunswick. So the moon, angel of dreams, really encouraging us to slow down so we can reconnect to our human version of us not the not this spiritual version of us the human version of us the ego side our shadow side you know what is really going on and what do I really need to work on and so it's okay to understand that if you have weaknesses the only way you're going to be um, yourself on your most authentic self is acknowledging where your weaknesses are. That's actually really healthy to do. So I'm feeling like it might be an overwhelming day because you might be letting go of a lot of stuff as you're sorting through energy, but letting go of stuff isn't a bad thing. So remind yourselves to take lots of time for yourself. Do any type of grounding exercises that you can. You can also check underneath my playlist through my meditations. And of course, I have my grief ceremony that I set up for people for the month of March. Bye-bye. Take care.